Wax Stern Show. We record live at WCOM 103.5 FM in Carborough. I'd like to welcome again Pringle Teeter, Ariana Barra, Jude Loeb, and Ellie Reinhold. Reinhold. And I'm going to ask you, Ellie, to move this way in between Pringle and Jude so I can get you better into the video, video end of this. And I'm so glad you guys brought paintings so you can hold them up and stuff when and we're thanks talking. Thanks for having us here, Valerie and Jackie. Yes, yes. thank you very much. Oh, and you need to speak into the mic. Yeah, yeah, you got to have the mic about a. So we can move. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Pull it to, or you can move toward it too if you yeah, want to. Despite the signage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just that sometimes people will twist them and and not do good things to them, and we can't have that. So tell us a little bit about the. Um, Who's the spokes spokesperson here? Well, are we talking about the gallery? Let's or talk the show? about the gallery okay. first. Well, um, it could be. You got to get closer to the mic, or uh, we're not going to be able to hear you. Could be all, actually, <laughs> the, the, three the of gallery, us yeah, the gallery members. is six, over six years old, and yeah, three of us are some. Uh, three of us are three of the fifteen that started the gallery. And so any one of us can tell you about it. You want to say a little bit about it, Pringle? Well, we started the gallery in the fall of, uh, it came about, but our first big opening was the fall of, of September. September 2006. Yep. We oh, wow. It's the same month my, my glass studio opened, so I can always remember it. Okay. And um, we started out with 15 members, as, as Jude said, and since then we have, we're now up to 22, and we have pretty much doubled, almost doubled our space in Hillsborough on Main Street. Oh, that's fantastic. We have a beautiful front window, but we're all local artists. Now, are you, you, are you in the Mercantile Building? Is yes. that where you're yes. at? Okay. Yeah. Yes. We're all local artists from Orange County, Durham County. We have one person that's in Cary. We still love her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Cary has some good artists. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> well, we have a brand new member that's going to be coming in and showing uh, on this next um, opening that we have on April 26th, and that is Alice Levinson, and she's a fabric artist. So she makes. I was just designing her postcard when Val <laughs> called me and said, oh, yeah. "Hey, it's yeah. time for the show." <laughs> wow, well, small world. Yeah, really. yeah. I mean, her work is fabulous. We're very excited. It really to have is her just on board. Yeah, amazing. It's beautiful. The yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, and we yeah. have a, a very diverse group from um, jewelry, which is Ariana's, is one of the jewelers there. And how Mel many jewelers Mel do we Mel have? Chandler is as well. She Pull it over to you. Do you no. Now, did you make what you're wearing? Yes, it's some. very pretty. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. We have jewelry. We have mosaic glass. We have furniture. We have turned wood. And blown and paintings, glass. Paintings, paintings, paintings. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fabric sculpture. Art. All price ranges. We have a little mm -hmm. bit for everybody. Well, that's great. So let's hear a little bit about each of you, the art that you do. I'll, how about we start with you, Pringle? Um, okay. I'm a hot glass artist. Um, I work in molten glass, and um, I love to blow glass. I have, uh, here's one of the pieces from the show, my featured artist show I had in Hillsboro last oh, fall. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, it's a polychromous <laughs> bloom. It has... Bright lilac in the inside and, and orange Gorgeous. lip and different colors in the outside. And it's just a, a, a vessel or form. Um, I did a, a, several of these pieces in all different bright colors that you would never think of putting together. Um, well, and probably a lot of people have seen your work out at Debbie Meyer's Sculpture Show um, yes. every September. Yes, people still ask me if I'm going to do the pond again because <laughs> I did that installation in the pond. Yeah, I know that was a lot of fun and for you. Yes, so it was... <laughs> It was beautiful, and I'm oh, so glad. Oh, it was glad. gorgeous. It was gorgeous. <laughs> but, yes, it was a lot of work. But. Now, Ellie, how about you tell us a little bit about what you do? Okay. Um, my name is Ellie Reinhold, and I am a painter. You're going to have to talk over I'm the a, blast I, of I know, rain. I know. <laughs> um, I have two main directions that I work in. I work in, with figurative paintings and more abstract landscape-ish paintings. Uh, sometimes they're very clearly a landscape, and other times they're not so clear. This particular one that oh, I that's brought so in pretty. is called Spring Rain, and if you're just oh. listening to this on the How radio, yeah. <laughs> it's, spring it's quite oh, uh, abstract, nice. and of course it's appropriate because it's pouring rain outside right now. Um, 
And uh, my show, I have a feature show right now at the gallery. It's up for three more days. It comes down at the end of the day on Sunday. Uh, but our title is Scratching the Surface. Mm -hmm. And the three of us, Pat Lloyd, um, Kim Wheaton, and myself, uh, we're all sort of taking that idea of well, how do you, what do you do, you know, changing the surface. Kim was, a t and me as well, mm -hmm. we're occasionally literally, literally scratching the surfaces of mm -hmm. our paintings. But otherwise the question was, you know, once acrylic dries, you can't really scratch it unless right. you cut right through the canvas. So, uh, you know, how do you make an interesting surface? So I was exploring Very nice. a lot, a lot Very to do nice. with that. Now, Jude, what about you? What is, what kind of work do you do? Well, I'm doing get cold, that mic right in front of your mouth. I'm doing cold <laughs> wax and oil. I'm the mic police. <laughs> and this is a piece. And actually, I could have fit oh, into cool. scratching the surface because with cold wax and oil, you actually are. Did you scratching say cold the wax? Cold wax and huh. oil versus encaustic, which is right. using the hot wax. And this you mix with the oil paint. So how I start? Well, that must be hard to to. Uh, no, it's very. It's oh, like it? butter. Oh, it's okay. kind of like a paste wax that you use to do furniture wa um, waxing and huh. mix it 50-50 with the oil paint. And I can bray it on, I can paint it on, or put it on with a palette knife. And so this one is for the earth and sky show, between earth and sky. And the whole idea on this one, I started with Rus um, thinking of Rusalan and a pretty place I'd like to visit and all the oranges. And so this went through a lot of different uh, uh, lifes and one of them was it was all orange and then I mixed some sand with it that I got from Rousselon in Provence and so there's a lot of texture in here and then wrote a haiku poem but the whole idea of this one is that there is hope even though there are a lot of and the black symbolizes a lot of the devastation that goes on and especially like what we go through lately with the school killings shootings and Boston Marathon oh, and all that man. crap and that there is still hope and you always find some good so the red is the energy of hope and the sunrise or sunset is like a hope um, that shows that there is another tomorrow and stuff so that was the point of this this particular oh, painting. Very nice. Yes. So now whose painting is this big one over here? That's mine as well. Okay so. well hold it up for a minute anyway so we can see. Turn the camera. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so that's this is one of my figurative pieces, and I, I sort of work cool. with um, uh, emotion and kind of metaphor. Very this nice. one's called Complicated Game. Very nice. Is that it? Okay, okay. so now um, we Ari need to Ariana. ask but Ariana, Ariana about her jewelry. 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 <laughs> I'm a metalsmith. I work mostly in sterling silver. Um, I am one of the three artists who's featured in the upcoming show at Hillsborough Gallery of Art called Between Earth and Sky. And my pieces for that show have to do with time and how time is captured in stones and fossils. So what I've brought in to show you are some of the pieces that I've made that I'm actually wearing. So oh, how a cool. Trilobite ring. Trilobite ring. Mm -hmm. And a <laughs> bring that closer, I can't see it. Oh, now what does that mean? What does that mean exactly? This is a fossil of a an ancient sea creature. Oh, that's, cool! Let um, me see it, please. That lived 250 to 300 million years ago. Yeah. It's Holy like it looks cow. like a spine or something. Is that what it is? It is. Yeah. It is the actual fossil. It was a shelled creature, kind of like a horseshoe crab. Huh. So you're seeing the shell and the and the ribbing of the Where segments of the shell. Where do you find something like that? Uh, that was actually a gift. But um, you can wow. go to um, gem, and, gem and mineral shows, and you can find tridolites there. You're to say you found it on the beach. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my life, I found put it, it under my beach. pillow when not. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the kind of work that, that I've been working oh, on. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. And actually, my necklace is an ammonite um, that's been piratized. So this is a, a kind of ancient. what does that mean? It's an ancient squid that goes back to, I think it's the Cretaceous period. And it, as it fossilized, it um, incorporated the iron oxide around it, and it became fool's gold, pyrite. So oh, it's got a shiny wow. uh, oh, metal that's surface. Cool. Oh, how, that's very yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. that's OK, very, now, very so cool. uh, somebody tell us about the, the show, because we've talked about the gallery, and we've talked about you guys. So tell us about this upcoming show. 
Oh, I, that's what we just that's talked what about with our painting. painting. Well, tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yours, the new show. The yours. new show is bet Between Earth and Me. Sky. <laughs> and so that, and Ari Ariana, myself, and Chris are doing a lot of paintings that have to do with well, how we feel about the landscape, how we feel about life, and well, mine are, are actually are kind of like that because I, I'm strongly believing in connections lately and doing a lot of reading about that and how we're all connected and that we've always been connected and that we're, we're always changing and um, that, well, that, it's just talking about my paintings is about how we connect and how we are bits and pieces of our past and and move into our future we we never get a, a completely away from who we were or at least part of it well, and we're constantly and changing all the time now do you as use the, as nature is too right and so we're just a part of nature rather than that we are dominating over nature we really need to learn how to live with nature right right where did you read uh, that just recently they talked about this kudzu who is a really big problem which it because it was an invasive species that came in here so now they have a kudzu bug that they came from Japan, also invasive, and they mm. thought, oh great, it's going to eat up all the kudzu. Well, it's also eating up the soybeans now and it's oh killing those gosh. fields. Oh so God, it's yeah. like you can't just take something and try and change it without <clears throat> understanding that whole right, system. Right, right. And yeah. so anyway. That now I wanted to ask you about your particular mm. painting that you showed us a minute ago and you said that you had mixed like some sand in mm -hmm, with it. Texture. Did you do that a lot with your paintings in this show? I didn't mix the sand except with another one and um, but I'm I'm mixed different things with it. I might find some textures, pe textured papers or something that I put in it. But then I bray over it and cover it and then I scratch through and so mo the, w the layers below are kind of obscured. But then as I scratch through, they become, um, some of it becomes revealed but not the whole thing. So it makes for interest to look at the painting close up but, um, it, and to touch it and feel it. But, and that's kind of relating the idea that we are, it's, we grow and we change over right. time, but we still we all have, have layers. those layers mm -hmm. that are underneath. Now, do you only work in oil or do I, you I basically work in oil. But I'm also doing a couple of, for this um, earth and sky, I've done a couple of post um, garden totems, which are long, like four by four posts that I've painted up so that oh, cool. they're going to be vertical. So the idea of from the earth, they sit on the earth, but they point to the sky. So it just. So yeah. now, Pringle, you had your uh, studio, your open studio the last couple weeks. How did that go? That went very well. We had, we had quite a few people, and we were demoing uh, blown glass all day saturday and sunday and it now was tell the name of your of the it's the cedar creek uh cedar creek gallery is where my studio is located and i have a, a partnership with two other people and we're four wind studio we originally had four of us but one of our our members has since gone on to some have of a the family. wind went out of your sail yeah. huh? <laughs> no <laughs> No, he went on to have a family. So there are three of us now there in Four Wind Studio. We didn't want to change the name because we all worked so hard to build the studio. Right. And um, we do this, this event is twice a year where you can come out and watch live glass blowing, which is rare That's around so cool. here. There's there yeah. are not a lot of glass blowing studios. I remember watching that at Disney World and, and I just thought it was so cool. It's really quite hot, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like 2100 degrees. You know what, but, you, you know what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> we shut down in July, July and August. We have to, a lot of repair work we have to do. So we shut down July and August and open up in the end of September before the next festival yep. um, at Cedar Creek Gallery. Well, that's so. fantastic. Oh, uh, Shakori Hills, I wanted to say, is this weekend. And um, anything else? Uh, the opening of our show, uh, the next show is uh, Friday from 6 to 9. That's the 20... 26. 26th. Friday. Okay, Friday. fantastic. Last Thanks, Friday. you guys, so Reception. much for coming Thank on. Put it all out where we can't go back, can't turn back now. All the cynics in your closing doors, I believed you once, but not anymore. To my losers, my dreamers, my in-betweens. Now we'll be legends, we'll be kings and 